Sunny came in and she caught me red-handed Creeping with the girl next door Picture this, we were both butt naked Banging on the bathroom floor How could I forget that I had given her an extra key All this time she was standing there She never took her eyes off me How can you give a woman access to your I'm, I'm the victim out of that. I'm not the perpetrator. Back before she turned into a killer. Let's review the situation that you caught up in. To be a true player, you have to know how to play. Yes, you stay at night, convince you stay a day. Never admit to a word when you say But at no point did anyone say uh, that this could have been a problem. And I had a conversation previously in late November when I thought about this role uh, I, uh, in a passing comment with the Premier of New South Wales. And where did this conversation take place? Look, I just can't recall, but it might have been a phone call. Just a phone call. There was uh, many phone calls um, after I left uh, with, with, with Mr Perito. He was, he was always checking in on me. He was checking in on me, and on, on one of those occasions I flagged, when I, as I said, that uh, I'd be interested. He had nothing more to say then. Uh, go for it. I, I mentioned with Minister Keane that, uh, that, uh, that I was considering it, uh, applying for the, for the role. What did he say back? I think he just said... Uh, 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 he was supportive. I, I actually don't know. I can't recall the, the exact word. He was supportive. Mr Barilaro texted me. He uh, indicated that he wanted to apply for this job. Uh, I encouraged him to do so. Uh, as uh, he obviously did, I didn't really give it a second thought. I would have sought uh, uh, Mr O'Farrell's uh, support as a referee, you know, after the application period. Wasn't it? She saw me banging on the sofa. Wasn't it? I even had her in the shower. John Barilaro gave evidence to the Parliamentary Committee today that he never knew a former public servant, Jenny West, had already been promised the New York role. That's despite this docu document tabled to the committee with John Barilaro's signature on it from September last year saying Jenny West should be approved to get the job. Well, it's a digital signature. He says his staff might have done it. I've looked into this. That brief has a digital signature on it. I don't recall actually seeing that brief myself. It is possible that I gave instruction to my staff to sign the brief on my behalf, but uh, that has a digital signature on it. It hasn't got my personal signature on it. Is it the habit in your office then, Mr Barilaro, that they apply your digital signature to whatever they like? No, it's that, that, that's not the habit. The Investment New South Wales Chief Executive conceding she had originally offered the position to someone else but was ordered to retract it. That direction by government came from who? It would have come through the responsible minister being the Minister for Industry and Trade. It was? Mr John Barilaro. Who resigned days later and has since applied for and been appointed to the plum position. Um, but those conversations, as I've understood it last week from watching the inquiry, uh, from evidence from Sammy Brown, uh, surprised me as much as it surprised anybody else. Like that, what you're trying to say is that I was advocating to change these roles to benefit me. No, I was changing these roles based on leadership meetings, based on the request of some MPs and ministers, based on the aspiration of the government through Global New South Wales, a document cr created Barrow, by Treasury. No, created by Treasury. I'm, I'm entitled to answer. Was she coming on the counter? Wasn't me. She saw me banging on the sofa. Wasn't me. I even had her in the shower. Why did you need to turn around that cabinet submission, that decision so quickly? I think in the matter of a week or ten days or whatever. What was the haste? Well, I, I there wasn't haste. I, I, you know, I, my instructions to my staff was ASAP. I mean, the reality here is, is that why was it ASAP? Well, everything is ASAP. You know, I don't sit back. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a minister that just gets on with the job. So the timing may look uh, to this forum and, and to the public may look like it was rushed through. But you know, a comment like ASAP, like I just. Made a comment earlier. I was pleasantly surprised that the, the department was able to turn around a cabinet submission so quickly. Mr. Barilaro says it was luck that his submission got on the cabinet agenda that week. It was fortuitous that it got on. Okay. So, you, so you are the luckiest person. Oh, mate, if, you, if you've lived the hell, if you've lived the hell that I've lived over the last six, seven weeks, now I'm the unluckiest. I know you better run fast. But she caught me on the counter. 
What stop that was on Tuesday night was a budget dinner. Adam Marshall went down with Delta. We went into lockdown. I was put in ice. We were put in isolation, and as some of my confidants were telling me, this is not the right time to now leave. The decision to leave on the 4th of October was a decision that I made only spontaneously after uh, the Premier Gap Barry Chicklin resigned on the Friday. In my mind, I thought. This is an opportunity for me to leave. I'm, I'm the victim out of that. I'm not the perpetrator. Oh man, a bullshit piled up so fast you need wings to stay above it.